Hello friends, I am Dr. Vijay Prakash and today I will tell you how to do a JIG trial in implant supported fixed processes, fixed partial dentures cases. So here we have a patient where in uh, there were four implants which have been placed in this segment as you can see and if you see these angulations they are outwardly placed these implants if you see this is how they have been placed and this is the intraoral scanning of this patient where you, you can appreciate at what position these implants have been placed. So this implant and these implants are pretty straight but if we talk about these angulations uh, this angulation is difficult and prosthetically it becomes difficult to manage uh, such a case in when we are fabricating a fixed partial dentures. So how do we proceed? So once we have made the intraoral scanning of the upper and the lower arch and uh, the bite if we see, this is the bite. So once we have taken this, we have the model prepared like this. These are the 3D models. If you can see, I appreciate this. And this is the position of the implants. These are the positions of the implant. Now we have the jig trial with us and we have to do a jig, uh, jig trial in the patient. So since we have seen the uh, positioning they are quite buckly placed, these, especially these two implants. So we have, when we are checking the JIG trial, first make sure when you get the JIG trial, you, you see what is the path of insertion of the JIG in the model itself. So here we position this because that is very important. Once you know how it is positioned, then only you can do a good work. So this is how it is. That means I have to remove it like this and place it like this. So this side will go first and then the this side and when we are removing then this side will come out first and then you have to pull this out. So this is how you are going to do the jig trial in the patient's mouth. So once we take this in the patient's mouth make sure that you follow the similar uh, path of insertion and removal in the patient's mouth too. So if you see the jig trial in the patient's mouth, you have to make sure that you have a good contact of the impression coping into the implants and this, these implants, they have to go in the same manner as I showed you on the digital model and the 3D printed model, how you have to place and remove the implants and also confirm the placement by taking an x-ray. So I will show you uh, the x-rays also. You can be sure that okay, well, the positioning of the impression coping is good and then we can go ahead with the fabrication of the fixed partial danger. Now if you see the x-rays of this patient, see this is the closed fit the metallic part is fitting closely with the that there is no gap here with the implant so here it is perfectly seated now you may have this kind of situation also where you know there is a gap between the impression coping and the implant surface the the uh, the crest of the implant so this is not acceptable that means your jig trial is not correct. So this has to closely fit in as I showed you just now here. There should be no gap between the implant coping, the impression coping and the, uh, the implant surface. So if you don't have any gap that means you are sure that your jig trial is correct situation I will be requiring angled abutments and then only we will be able to do and and that also we need to mill this and plan it so that we can have a good processes with good aesthetics 
so i'll keep updating with you with this case so that uh, it is slightly complex prosthodontically so i thought uh, it will it may help all of you in gaining some some inputs in this so thank you thank you for watching the video